Hello, I'm Linda Gifford and I'm showing you a bit more of my sketchbooks. Um, and this little chat is really about what I do in my holidays. So what you've got here is you've got a, sh a pencil shaded drawing and it's looking down the Calder Valley which is near Hebden Bridge. Um, and we were lucky to stay in what used to be a pigsty. Uh, it certainly wasn't that then. It was very nice, very comfortable but um, this was a drawing taken of the view outside the window. Very nice. And another place I like to go is Birmingham. Again, because of the fantastic museum and art gallery. And these are some drawings that I did based on tiles by William de Morgan. Fabulous. And while I was there, I stayed with my friend Trevor. And my friend Trevor had a double base. And this is a pattern which I did based on the scroll at the top of his double base. So I just let my imagination run wide. It was just a big, big doodle, really. Now, it's nice to draw real things. And um, often I find, well, I have to say, usually live butterflies, but occasionally dead butterflies. So this tortoiseshell butterfly was one that I found and then I just played with it so got a doodle there with um, fantasy colours based on the butterfly that I'd seen and again in the garden just a daisy that I picked up a piece of rue you know anything that you you find interesting you can pick up and draw now this is my holiday where I was lucky enough to go to Greece um, and these are details of Roman and Greek mosaics. And uh, these little drawings that you see on the left here, uh, when I was sitting in the ferry and we were going past lots of different islands. So I was drawing as I went along as quickly as I could to try and get an effect. Uh, again, a doodle finished off in the created sanctuary in Hartford. Uh, one of the places I was lucky enough to visit was Delos and these are some of the details from the mosaics in Delos. So this was a mosaic floor at the top and at the bottom here a very, very fine mosaic. Um, absolutely fiddly to draw but very, very beautiful. I'd never seen one as fine as that before. Um, on the right here is a drawing that I did in Santorini. We visited Aquatiri, which was a deserted town. Uh, the people managed to get away when the earthquake happened, uh, but they left these wonderful paintings on the walls. And you can see them in the museums there. So that's a drawing from that. And this is another drawing from wall paintings in Santorini, but uh, here I've got a bit carried away. I'd got a pencil drawing on this side. There was nothing on this side of the page at all. And uh, while I was drawing, I'll show you the picture I was working on. You can see I was doing a, a picture of an orchid and a butterfly, which I was going to put on a silk tie. Um, and because I was pressing really, really hard to get all these colours, um, what happened was I actually managed to transfer the drawing from that side to the other side. So I thought, right, I'll play with it. So one day when I was sitting on a train or somewhere where I hadn't got an awful lot to do, I thought, right, I'm going to colour it. And so I played with the colours um, and created a design based on these beautiful birds and flowers that were on the wall painting because that's the beauty of being an artist, you're God. You can do whatever you fancy. So, drawings from photographs of nature. So you've got a lovely comma butterfly here, and you've got a blue butterfly on an orchid. A swallowtail butterfly. And when I was at Sidmouth Festival, they had all these wonderful flags flying, so I was having a go at drawing those and I had a bit of assistance on the bottom one there from a friend. 
a young friend. <laughs> yeah, and again at Sidmouth we were camping, so that was a stylized view of what I could see at the end of the campsite, you know, going off to the hills. It was very beautiful. So having a sketchbook with you is a great idea and you can just, you know, sort of put down anything you fancy, play around with any ideas and uh, your memories are there recorded for you to enjoy later. <laughs>